Okay, it's time for quest for semi-rando. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizers tonight. Last weekend, we did some pretty gosh dang cool stuff. We got a new PB, and we got two sub twos right in a row, which is fucking fantastic. Let's see if we can pull the same thing off this weekend, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think RNG is going to be that kind to us for this long. Um, but I guess the only way to figure that out is to try it. So we got to be, well, let's see, 142.41, it seems. That'll be a trick and a half, won't it? My goodness. All right, well, let's get it rolling in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Let's see what we get here. It's the very first item. Ah, piece of candy. Not very exciting. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, it's probably, probably holding some of the more exciting shit for later, which, you know, it's like, I can get behind that. I can get behind that, for sure. Let's see what we can get for a tree pull here, though. Oh, excuse me, fella. Hey, fucko, stop throwing tridents at me. Thank you. Eat shit. Yeah, I'm just a fucking single-ass rupee. What's on the tree pull today? Oh, some arrows. Okay. You know what? That's, that's all right. Get an early bow, that'll help, but... See what uncle in this other chest has here. What are we stealing from good old uncle today? Oh, uh, some blue goo. All right, that's well, fine. That'll get us to sick kid right away, at the very least. Uh, excuse me, fella. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, a lady clad in power armor and a big old 20. All right, not, not, not great. <laughs> it's not a great start. Not a fantastic start, but you know, let's still pull this out. What's, what's in the church today? No, oh, just a bomb cap. Who? All right. Well, not great. But you know, we got a little bit of cash. Uh, not nearly enough for um, to get some bombs or anything like that. Um, so let's hit up the Lost Woods and see what the crab has got dropping today. See what's on Lumberjack Ledge. See what's on Mushroom Spot and Thieves Den. We'll probably go to Kakariko anyway, since we've got really very little else we can do at this point. What's the crab doing today? Nah, nothing but hearts. Boo! Okay, so it's been a pretty lackluster start. What do we got on Lumberjack Ledge here? Just a big old 20? So, quite possible that Ega 1 not required. But, no guarantees of that just yet. <laughs> Until we get a solid Dark World access, we don't know if it's required or not. Excuse me, birds. Pardon. A pardon, please. Thank you. Mushroom spot contains... Peace candy. You know what? I'm gonna grab that. I don't like walking around with just three hearts, so... Get us halfway to another one. And Thieves' Den will contain for us a today. And the Silvers! Oh, goodness. Okay, well, that's our uh, first really good pickup. Just kind of missing a bow to really make it work for us, but hey. Glad to have those early rather than trying to find them later. Except we have very little cash now, so... Ekariko might not be as good of a play as, as one would hope. Unless you can drop some bombs for me. No, fucker. That's all right. Okay, well, <laughs> shit. We've got a bottle, which is good. We don't have enough roops for bottle vendor, which sucks. Um, we don't have any bombs to get into these uh, other locations. We don't even have enough rupees to buy some bombs, so... Kind of slim. Kind of slim as to what we can do here. Hard-ass container, powder, oh, this powder's interesting. 20 roops, all right, we're almost to, and some 10 arrows. All right, well, shit. <laughs> uh, well, by the time we get out of the well, we'll have enough for bottle vendor, but still. Or no, we won't have enough, we'll have enough for bombs. Excuse me, we'll have enough for bombs. Which means we'll be backtracking to some of these Kakariko locations. The simple fact that oh Samaria in the well interesting arrows or arrow cap rather another big 20 and another big 20 well almost enough for bottle vendor then but uh, bombs are a little bit more important Samaria is a good pickup though don't worry about that shit later on 
to skip over a whole bunch of other places just so we can go buy some busy bands. Hope for the best. And powder. Forgot to mark powder. All right, let's go back. Hit a few locations here. Can we get the chicken throw? Yeah, good chicken throw. Right on through, too. Yeah, there's the chicken. The other side of the wall, even. Arrow cap. Boo. All right, well, let's go hit the well again and uh, blinds hut. All that good shit. Quite have enough money for bottle vendor still. Oh my goodness! Early hammer. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Dang it! We're gonna be like nine rupees short. Do these things have rupees? No oh, hearts. Dang it. Whoa. All right. Early hammer is great since we don't have a sword yet. Gets us the equivalent of a slash from tempered. Very small hitbox, but what are you gonna do? He's Gandy. Dang it. Well, that's alright. That's alright. Pickering has been pretty rich with stuff. Samaria so and Hammer. Dang. And then powder, I guess. Powder for some backup fairies or whatever. <clears throat> Bottle vendor will have to wait, however. We do not have enough money. But speaking of bottles, let's go hit up Sick Kid, see what he's got for us. If anything, if anything of value. Perhaps a flute would be real nice. Get some early fast travel going on. Ha 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 ha. Dang it, only 10 arrows. Fuck you, sick kid. Worthless. What about the back of the bar, though? They pull in some cash last night? Eh? Oh, bombs. <laughs> well, you know what? That's fine, too. That's fine, too. Oh, we could actually do Batman right away, too. My goodness. Early Batman. Let's do that. Hammer and powder in hand. Get us some early Batman. Oh wait, I don't have any magic though. Uh, dang it! Oh man, <laughs> no magic. I should have picked up at least a little bit uh, when we went to check out Uncle. All right, well never mind. I guess that was kind of fruitless, wasn't it? Unless this dude's gonna drop us some magic. Excuse me, bird. Ouch. Hey, stop it. Yo, shit. Eat that. Dang it. Ah. Well, that was kind of a waste of like 30 seconds. That's alright. Alright. No early Batman then. That's fine. That's fine. See if the library holds us. Instead of knowledge and literacy, it holds 20 roots. What a waste. Take a quick gander at race game, and then we will be on our way down to South Shore. What do we got over here? Oh, 300 roops. You know what? This early? That's actually kind of worth it. <laughs> actually kind of worth the bomb in 20 seconds it takes to get over there. Roughly. That'll get us enough money for Bottle Vendor, plus a good chunk of the way towards Zora. Three hundred big ones. We'll take it. We'll go hoof it back to Bottle Vendor real quick. And then, nice and cute out, go back to the house, and then hit the South Shore.
Bottle vendor has! Dang it! What a shyster. 100 for 5. What a shit. That is some life lessons. That's some pretty good life lessons right there. Not even handed out by King Ripoff himself. Gosh dang it. Well, whatever. Alright, South Shore, the dam, Mini Wormulon Cave, and Ice Rod Cave. Um, excuse me, Octorok, you fuck. And a bloomeray. Interesting. Not exactly what I wanted. But it's something. It's a useful tool. Water under the dam, we have. Yeah. He's candy. You know what? I'm gonna grab that because I think that'll be another full one. Eh? Yeah. yeah. All right. We've been keeping good count. No fish rescue today, though. All right. So I do have a hammer, so it means we can do. Ouch. Fuck off. Do mini Wormulon cave without too much hassle. I'll probably just end up using bombs or whatever. Save me some time. Ouch, fucker. Ow. Oh, oh, yeah. You want some of that? No. Oh, you ass. All right. Fuck it. You want some of this? Come get some. Ah, you shit ass. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That one. Yeah, there's that one. Fucking eat it. No good drops either. All right. Five items. What we got here? Bomb cap. Moon pearl. Nice. Some red goo. He's candy and a sword. Beautiful. Okay. Well, Moon Pearl is really good there. Now we just need a glove to get us into Dark World. I got some reliable offensive weaponry. Makes this real nice. Oh, nice eight drop. Holy shit. That's good. That's real good. Bit of magic. Could have used that over at the bat cave. Really doesn't matter that much, though. Now we can do front side escape reliably. Then head on over to eastern. Probably just an arrow cap. Boo. Oh well, better to just get it out of the way. Let's do front side escape, and then we'll probably book it over to Eastern and Sahash. Let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. I was about to say, if he didn't see me by looking, like, straight at me. Oh, that dude just didn't fucking care. <laughs> what a shit. Oops, wait. Front side escape, idiot. Not uh, not back side, not dark room. Can't deal with those dark rooms just yet. We'll get lamps soon, so we can. Excuse me, fuckos. <laughs> eh? Oh, big old Tony. To Big old 20 again. Now lots, lots of money in the castle today, but not much else. Alright, last chance down in the dungeon.
Let's not die before we get it this time, please. Just for a little bit of sleep. We'll do pot and hammer strats here. Boom. Boom. Dee -dee 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 All right. In the dungeon we have. Big ol' heart container. All right. Well, you know, that's useful at the very least. Not exactly what I was going for, though. All right. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Go hit up Sahash and Eastern. At least five items. Potentially six. <sighs> All right, Sahash, old man, what you got in your back room? What you got back here, man? Another sword, excellent. Some busy bands, and a heart container. Alright, well, that's not bad, old man. That's not bad. An early non-plastic sword is real good. Real, real good. Plus, we've already got a solid seven hearts, which is a really good start in 16 minutes, I would say. Okay, Eastern. Possibly three items we can get in here, depending on if Armos is holding or not. If we could get the bow in here, that'd be real nice. We could just finish her off right away. I forgot to check the map, though, so we don't know if this is crystal or pendant. Eh, doesn't really matter. Early items. What we got? Piece of candy. Boo. That's one of them. Ouch. Alright, one of these days, I'm gonna be able to figure out this fucking skeleton room and do it in an actually sane way. I just don't know how. All right, well, we got him that time. Interesting. Interesting. Compass. All right, well, it's not great. We got two possible items here. Heart container, all right. I guess technically now this is out of uh, <clears throat> out of logic because this is a dark room. But I know how to handle these dark rooms, no problem. Yeah, there's the key. Out of my way, please. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> No problems, didn't get hit by nothing, didn't get caught on any pots or shit like that. We good to go. Beat it, bada boom. Ba da da da! Oh, dang it. Alright, well, that was the last item we could get. Doesn't really help us, unfortunately, so. We've got very few places we can go. <laughs> Uh, because we're missing a lamp, we're missing a glove, um, let's hit Batman, since we've got powder hammer, and a little bit of magic to use. 
Uh, and then Agana's Cave is the only other place we can go. And even then, that's a bit of a stretch. So we'll see if Batman's holding on, on us and then head down to the desert. Because we shouldn't even need to go to uh, Ega 1 just yet. Since we don't have a lamp, we shouldn't need to go through the dark rooms in Hyrule Castle. And I don't want to because I don't like those ones. I doubt I could. Get, I might be able to get through it if I really, really tried. But I'd rather not if we can avoid it. So let's see what this asshole is holding for us. Eh? Eh? Oh. Well, it means Agen is holding some progression for us. Alright, let's see what he's got. Uh, let's actually just go SQ out the house. Otherwise, I'd have to run all the way the fuck around. Since we don't have gloves, we can't take the shortcut through the, the cliffside there. Unfortunately, we've wasted a whole lot of time dicking about while we're at it. Let's check. Oopsie. <laughs> Just kind of click through the map real quick. Crystal, crystal pendant. We've got the, both of the five sixers in Light World. How interesting. All right. Unfortunately, Hera being a pendant kind of sucks because Hera is one of the easier ones to take care of. Oh, well. But we know for sure that Agana is holding something of progressive value. Whether that be a glove to get us some more items and into the dark world. Out of my way, you fucking vulture. Uh, or something else. Like a book to get into desert. Alright, so second old man in the game. What do we what do we got? Holding something good for us? Sahash was holding a sword and a heart container. What you got? What you got in your little fucking closet of mystery here? There's a glove! Actually, I'm gonna check Desert Ledge first before we whip on out of here. So glove gets us into many, many, many good places, including Dark World. Um, but it does get us to Backside Escape, which is three items. Um, let's check real quick what's on Desert Ledge. Is it worth coming back for? It is not, it's an arrow path. All right, so let's quickly, quickly go desert, or not desert ledge, quickly go backside escape. Get those three. I suppose we could go, well, now we can go up to um, Zora, too. Also be a progressive item situation, but it looks like uh, Ega 1 will not be required since we now have Dark World access. So, six minute time save right there. Asshole rat. Alright, what do we got here? Eh? Eh? Bomb cap, burrito, and a shovel. Interesting. Alright, well, the shovel's interesting, but not really what we were hoping for. So, let's head into Dark World. And hope that uh, Thieves Town is not a pendant this go around. does give us the dig spot in Sacred Grove there. But we'll wait on that a bit. I suppose we also could have gone straight for Hype Cave as well, but we'll wait on that too. It's a nice big 20. Alright, I can take that. Also allows us to get power glove. Also allows us to get up to uh, Death Mountain, and that's a dark room we can deal with. Get the old man on the way through, but there's unfortunately not a lot we can do up there just yet. Really need a hook shot to make things happen. Until we get that, we'll kind of leave Death Mountain up to its own. So 
exactly what we were looking for, but whatever. Alright, what are we dealing with in Dark World here? Crystal Demon? Ah, uh, Leafstown is the other pendant. Is one of the other pendants. Pod is the other one. Interesting. Crystal, 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 crystal. Hmm. Alright. Well, I guess if Thieves Town were to be a dependent, green pen is probably the best. It's just one more item if we go back to Sahash. Get our money back and got the red meringue. Alright, well, not the greatest, but whatever, it's something. Go take a quickie peek at um, uh, Bumper Cave while we're up here. Just to make sure it's nothing of super good value. Oh, oh, some green goo. All right, so we got all three goos. And three of four bottles already. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, stupid, I'm sorry. Dang, really looking for that bow. Since we got silvers already. Oh. On ledge, we've got nothing but a heart container. That's good. It's better than just a piece of candy, but not something I'm gonna go out of my way for. Excuse me, fucko. Alright, we'll hit the last free item in Thieves Town here, and then we'll go into Thieves Town proper. Just made to date myself that explosion. Weird. All right, busted shack has piece of candy. Oh well, that's a very nice refill. Right before we hit our first dungeon. Even if it's not well, not our first dungeon. I guess we did go into Eastern. Second dungeon. First Dark World dungeon. Four items in here, plus a green pendant. Visity bams! Not ideal. Ow, fucker. Wow, cost two fucking hearts for that. Oh shit. Big old 20, alright. Well, not an ideal start. Not the most ideal items we were hoping for. Oops, what am I doing? Okay, what am I when I'm Sam? So I think I turn into Zero Suit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Full ass heart container. Full tenor. This will be the big key. Do 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 do. All right. So unfortunately, we don't really have a lot of items to do appropriate coward strats for blinds. So we're gonna have to be pretty good. Well, I guess we do have blue goo and red goo. So if things start getting a little hot, pop on some fresh health. Be good with it, fire bar, please. Plus, we got one use of powder to grab a backup fairy if we need to. Excuse me. Fire bar. Get the fuck out of here. Two at a pop, too. What a shit. Burrito! But the good news is we've got the hammer already, so I don't need to double dip into Thieves Town just in case that last item is in the big chest. 
Here's hoping that it's not, and we can just kind of ignore it, but... One in three chance of that actually being the case. Ouch. Come on, I grab this. Bouncing around. for Zora too. But I kind of wanted to ignore that if we can because it is quite out of the way. We don't have flippers to go take care of um, uh, yeah, I guess I suppose I should have assumed that was going to be a small key. Better than blind having the small key. To get down into this other area. Blind's got the last item, <laughs> so we're gonna kill him anyways. All right then, that's fine. I suppose just in case things start getting a little bit nuts, have some backup potion at the ready. that much of a problem, though. Nice. Good first phase. Pretty good second phase. Those dudes do two at a pop, too, if you run into them. That sucks. But it was a pretty good blind fight anyways. Okay, what you got for us? A blue rupee! What a shit. Okay, so Thieves Town was kind of dumb, giving us not much of value. That's all right, though. We got the green pendant. Next time we're in Sahash's neighborhood, we'll go bother him for another item. All right, well, let's go do some overworld stuff since we really don't have a whole lot of options. There's literally no other... Uh, well, we could do front side of... Um, Skull Woods, I suppose, but too late for that. Really, no other uh, other places we can get into. I suppose we can get into Pod. Just can't go into the backside of it. Hundred rupees, all right. Make our money back and plus a little bit. Very quick digging game. I appreciate that. Make our way over to Old Stumpy and then hit up Hype Cave. And then maybe we'll head towards Pod, I guess. Then we can hit Pyramid and Catfish, too. Ooh! Old Stumpy's got the flippers! Interesting. Unlocks a few other locations for us. Not many, but a few. Also makes the Zora play a little bit more valuable since we can get whatever's on the ledge plus whatever's in Waterfall of Wishing. All right, Hype Cave, are you uh, gonna be hyped today? Fizzity Bams! And Fitty Roops, and more Fitty Roops, and 300 Roops, my goodness. And a piece of candy. Alright, so not exactly hype, but very rich. Very, very rich. Let's go hit Pyramid and dip into Pod, I guess, would be the next good-ish play. Ouch. Since dungeons seem to be more heavily weighted for good items than uh, general overworld locations.
Alright, what do we got on Pyramid? Just a big old 20. Dang it. Alright, well, whatever, it's fine. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, well, I guess while we're in the neighborhood, let's go hit Catfish. <laughs> I don't like these ones just being so totally out of the way, but... While we're up here. Hey, he's just a boy. How you doing? I will use the flippers in due time. Once we're back in the light world. We'll have, let's see, one, two, three, four items to go grab. King Ripoff himself, plus Zora Ledge, plus Waterfall. But for now, go see what Catfish has got. Whoa. And then maybe go in the pot. Alright, Catfish. Made our way up here. Better have been worth it. It's the hook shot. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's real nice. That is real nice. Okay. I take back some bad things I've ever said about that catfish. Hmm, now I'm kind of re-debating my play to pod. I think we'll maybe delay that. We'll delay that for now. We'll go up to Zora. And then we'll probably go up to Death Mountain. We'll do we'll do some uh actually no, let's do dig spot first. Uh We'll do some dark rooms. We can do that dark room up up the way to Death Mountain. No props. Uh, but let's hit Dig Spot while we're here. Ba 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 da ba. Uh, uh, oh, a lamp! All right. What a play! That opens up so much now. That puts a whole heck of a lot into the flow now. Alright, uh, let's, well, let's go up to Zora. And then we'll go, uh, then we'll go Death Mountain, since that is now 100% opened up for us. Um, probably should've just gone to Sanctuary to do Zora here. Ah, oh, well. Let me, uh, get Hobo while we're here. No, there's no, no, that ledge is in the Dark World, Never mind. Never mind. Hmm, okay. Well, that's real nice. That gets us up to Hera as well, but Hera being a pendant... I won't get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> probably won't worry about going into Hera just now. Just yet. Although it is a pretty short dungeon, so... If we were gonna go dungeon diving, Hera would probably not be a bad choice. But more important than here right now is East Side Death Mountain, <clears throat> which has a whole heck of a lot of items for us. Hopefully. I mean, who really knows at this point? Ouch. Crabs. Waterfall wishing. Arrow cap and piece of candy. Boo. Not very valuable. That's alright. See if King Ripoff is kind to us today. Bottle vendor sucked. Paid him a hundred bucks, he gave us five in return. Nothing but a big old 20 on Zora Ledge. King Ripoff himself will have for us today. And, and, oh, our container, all right. It's at least something valuable, not like a single rupee or arrows or bombs or some other garbage like that. All right, up the mountain. Up the mountain we go. 
Or let's see. One, two, nine, ten, possibly twelve items that we can get to. Plus a couple more we can check. So lots of value. Lots of value up in the mountain. But a, a 20 spot for our troubles, bringing them back. Ungrateful shit. Alright, well, let's go up this side first. Check out what's on and in Spectacle Rock, and we'll head on down east side. Get the rest of our cool ass stash of weapons and items and shit. What do we got up top? We got busy bams up top. Alright. Nothing of value. What about inside? Ten arrows. Also nothing of value. So then, off we go. Of course I land on a squirrel. Go figure. The bastard's always getting in my way. Also should not forget to do hobo as well. Considering. Ouch. Big old 20. Another big old 20. Jeez. 40 bucks. 40 bucks richer, I suppose. Piece of candy, another piece of candy, that should be good for a fill. Yep. Another heart container, another piece of candy, my goodness. What a lovely paradox cave with the fiver spot at the end. Alright, well, that sucks. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Alright, well, check what's on the floating island. And then hit spiral cave. container. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Actually, maybe we'll hit Hera first before we do Spiral while we're up here. Even though its dependents might have two items that we need. A book so we could check Ether tab right away, or perhaps a fire rod. Basement. Ugh. Oh, well, there's a single arrow. The run is valid. Well, halfway valid at the very least. Um. <sighs> This will be the big key. Oh, show. And it leaves one more item somewhere within this place. More item of possible value. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's a big key! Oh shit. We hit the damn thing. <clears throat> Although I probably could have hit it with like a, a boomerang or something. Down near the entrance, right? Oh well. Go about this one of two ways. I've got the hook shot so we can get across real easy, but also try the bomb jump so we don't need to fall down to get back here. Unless this is the other item. That's compass. Alright, let's try the bomb jump. Try the bomb jump. Uh ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, I hate those vertical bomb jumps. They're very hard. Very difficult for me to line up properly without uh screwing something up here. Maybe not the bomb jump then. <laughs> Maybe just hook shot across and take our one fall. Screw that up more often than I actually make it work. Wormilon's got it. What a shit. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Just in case this turns into a surprise MSPC, we will be two thirds of the way there. Any piece of shit. Get away from this ledge, please. Thank you. There's one. Eh, eh. There's two, I think. I think that was a spin. Eh. There's three. Oh, crap. Where are you? <laughs> stop it. Oh, no. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Give you a little poke. All right, what's the second item that we get, went all the way through this fucking pendant dungeon for? Baby's first shield. Dang it. All right, well, whatever. Let's go back across, hit Spiral Cave, and then we bust it on out of here. Island was some bullshit, right? Gives us a few more spots we can check. We can get the dark chest in escape. Hobo, and then Sahash with the green pendants. None of which are ideal. I don't like this song. Next, please. None of which are ideal, mind you. Being single item locations, but we really don't have much of a choice. I guess we could go into pod. That'd be a thing. It's an option. It is an option for us. Uh, we could go to front half of Skull Woods as well. Uh, but we're locked out of pretty much everywhere else. A spiral cave opens up not for us. Nothing but ten arrows. Dang it. Uh, so what do we do first? I guess we do... Um, really Hobo. Hobo seems like a good first choice. If there was an easier way to get to him rather than going all, all the way down and around as bullshit. 
almost all of these are... <clears throat> One and done is pretty much, I guess, Hobo, Sahash, and then Dark Chest. <laughs> dark Chest and Escape? Ugh, oh, goodness. And for that one item that opens up the rest of the world for us here. Or at least a couple dungeons that are actually crystals. What do you got for us, Hobo? Ah, Fetty Roops. Well, no wonder you're living under a bridge. You're just giving money to anybody who bothers you. Anybody who wakes you up. Alright, well, that was a bust. Can't be winners all the time. All right, what's on the islands? Take a quick checkeroo here. Eh, 50 roops, wow. Lots of roops. Hmm, excuse me. Lots of roops we have seen today. <laughs> Quickie visit to Sahash, see if uh, something was hidden behind Green Pendant. Will justify us killing blind to get it. Come on, don't make that Thieves Town dive a waste of time. Eh? Eh? Dang it! <laughs> Just for a fiver, what a shit! Ah, crap. Alright. Oh, dang it, that really does not bode well for us. Before we go into pod or front side of uh, Skull Woods, let's hit that dark chest and escape. Man, those dudes do not give two fucks about me just walking right into the castle. They're like, eh, somebody else inside will take care of that. us much, does it? I guess I should have known that was the small key since I didn't get it in backside or front side of escape. I should have known that was the, the small key there. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well, it only costs what, like a minute or so? Not a big deal. So, I guess our probably the best play in right now is uh, going to pot. Not having boots kind of sucks. Not having mirror really sucks. But we do have hammer. We don't have bow though, so ooh, this could actually be a really, a really shitty play if we don't find bow in an early pod chest. And then the other play that we have open to us is the front side of front half of Skull Woods, which actually has had items more often than not, so maybe that would have been the better play while we were up there. Oh well. Ouch. Birds. Uh, all right, well, I'm not even sure how many chests we can get to in pod here. Maybe two or three, depending on what's in this first one. This first one has to be a small key, otherwise we're pretty dead in the water. So we can't go right side on this because we don't have the bow. 
but we'll see what we can pull out of this. More often than not, this is usually a small key, though, so... Yeah. Pretty typical. Oops. I actually opened the door first. Used to just mirroring out. Starting over, but... No mirror! Oops. No, I'm not going to the right side, derp. I can't. I just said I can't go right side. What do I do? I go right for right side. Okay, well, this is not, not ideal. Not gonna be an ideal route through pod for us, but... Unless one of these is the bow. Eh? Eh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright. That leaves us two more that we can get. One of these is probably gonna be a small key. At least I kind of hope one of these is a small key so we can keep going on, but... Never really know until you get it. That's the big key. Which means this one down here has to be a small key. Well, it doesn't have to be, I guess. Or does it? And, okay, that works. That gets us most of the other ones now, at the very least. <sighs> Alright. So, no items yet to our name. It's all the keys. Ooh. <laughs> Psych! Fuck you, Mini Helmosaur. Alright, that gets us at least three more. If we don't... Well, there's a small key. Gets us another three more on the other side. There's some bombs, it's our first item. Another small key, alright, well, it's not ideal. Not what we want to see here. <laughs> we want to see some progression items, please. Grab this one real quick. Big old 20, alright. If this puts me back to front side of, uh, of Skull Woods, I'm gonna be a little bit mad. Well, well, Titan's Mitts, that already makes this worth it. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. Burrito. Okay, that opens up Dark Side Death Mountain now. And the compass. Alright, so there's still two items in here somewhere. Um, but I think we go up the mountain again. Titan's Mint's real nice, but eh, it was pretty worthless otherwise. At the very least, we can check out what it will take to get into T-Rock as well. So up here, we're looking at six more items. Plus knowledge of what we need to get into T-Rock. That's about it. Since T-Rock is required, it's a crystal dungeon this time around. Super bunny chests first, though. Big old 20. And another big old 20. Wow, lots of pairs of those around.
had a pair of big 20s in the light side death mountain too Ether for T Rock. Four items here in Hookshot Cave. Let's see what we can be blessed with. Fitty Roops. Oh, what? Get him, please. Piece of candy. The flutes. Hey, there's some value. And another piece of candy. It's not bad. <clears throat> Loot is not bad at all. That gets us over to Meyer. Plus, it gets us fast travel pretty much everywhere else. So, excellent. Pretty late to be getting flute. Bucko one in, but that's all right. looking like a not sub two seed since we don't even have our first crystal and we're already an hour in whatever whatever it's fine Doesn't yet get us into desert since we don't have the mirror. Does get us the two in Mire Shed, and it lets us check what we need to get into Mire, which is good since Mire is a crystal as well. So what are we dealing with here? Are we dealing with a double ether, or are we going to be looking around? Yep, double ether. That's... I guess that's good. I guess that's good. Big old 20. There's the mirror. Wow, mirror and mire shed, huh? How interesting. That gets us into. Uh... Oops, not checking the That gets us into swamp, which is good since that's a lot of items plus. Uh... A lot of items plus a crystal dungeon. This also gets us into desert. Which itself is a crystal dungeon. Uh, so let's go do let's go do swamp. Oh uh, wait a minute! <laughs> it's wait a minute. That's not the right way to do this. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Loot to four, so you can hit the portal first. That would have been a waste of time trying to do that shit. Good thing we didn't do it. Thought at least tempered, but whatever. Desperate times, desperate times. Beep, beep. But at least we've got all the materials required to clear swamp. We gotta start clearing some dungeons here. This will be our first crystal dungeon. <laughs> Bucko 5 in. We're headed into our first crystal. My goodness. Kinda silly. 
Oops. Oh, got that. Over there, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. First chest in the swamp. The compass. Wonderful. The best. Now we know where we're going. We can see where the boss is and where all the chests are. Ouch. So many things on screen. All right, so we got the compass and the burrito. Great, awesome. Exactly what I want to see in the first few chests of this long ass level. Dang it. from item that we get, and it's rupees that we don't fucking need. Kane and Brian, alright, also useless at this point. Off to a good start. Ouch. No big key yet either, so... Looking at a double dip regardless. If it's Argus that has the big key, that would be the worst possible case. Although, probably equivalent to the last chest, right? this. Drink that red potion. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
baru ba. Eh? Big old Tony. Piece of candy. Oh, dang it. Of course, there's a refill right there. Stupid. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -ba. How about a bowl? Something I can use to. Oh, it's a big key. Alright, fuck it. Let's kill Argus. We'll go back in for the other item. Dang it, so we'll be facing Argus with pretty much uh, vanilla equipment here. Master sword and... Not even a bow to shoot some silvers right into his fat-ass eyeball. Oh, well. Don't they? There we go. Oh, I'll have to do. What you got for us? Please be something good. I'm capped. God damn it. Ah, shit. <laughs> the swamp was such a bad level. Ugh. Well, it's our first crystal to buck 11. Nice. Gonna have to go back in anyways for that big chest. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. to many other places. Could swing through and do most of the um, most of the Dark World fetch quest stuff. Wow. That was a fucking worthless swamp. We do some of the uh, Dark World Fetch Quest stuff. Blacksmith, purple chest, and all that other stuff. One item at a time. I suppose we could go in the desert as well. Kind of hoping to push off desert until... Uh, until we could get into Mire. So we could do those back to back. Save a little bit of time, but... Not looking like that's a, a real possible thing to do just yet. with us having no tablets, or no, excuse me, no medallions. Too, since we don't got no boots. Redsmiths. That's something for me this time around. Ten roops will get us 
will get us. Will get us. What will get us? Gets us. 20 rupees. All right, well, we doubled our money. <laughs> Gosh dang it. All right. Well, purple chest then. Keep South of Grove on our way. So we can't check uh, can't check the Bombos tablet while we're down there. That sucks. Oh, being a bottle. All right. Well, that'll be the fourth bottle at least. Wow. Okay. Uh, actually, it doesn't even matter now. Let's just get the fuck out. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, this does not bode well for anything, does it? Yikes. This could be a spike cave. Spike cave or cave uh, above graveyard, really. It's the only two we can get to. Besides going into uh, desert now. Which I probably should anyway, since desert is a crystal. Not having the boots kind of sours me on doing it, though. Simple fact that the big key could be on the torch. in here, my goodness. Alright, go do Spike Cave real quick. And we going into desert. Been a real slow burn of a seed so far. I'm sure I appreciate that. Still quite a few items off of, well, we're probably only three items off of go mode right now. Well, four, I suppose, right? The bow, uh, both rods, and ether are what's keeping us from go mode right now. Ah, the other single rupee. Well, we found both of those. Okay, into desert we go. to go in the back door since we don't have the book. Double damage. <laughs> or massive damage, rather. 
Okay. Two deserts. Two possible items here. Something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. Otherwise, uh, we're back to front half of Skull Woods again. Which, how shitty would that be? Hopefully it's a burrito or a compass on the torch. Ah, uh, the small key is on the torch. Are you fucking serious? Gosh dang it. That's not good. I'll just bust on out of here then. Depending on what's in this chest. Piece of candy. Are you f for real? I can't even do anything. <laughs> dang it, that means it's fucking Skull Woods. Oh no. Front half of Skull Woods we gotta go to get whatever it is that we need to proceed here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I probably knew I should have done it. I should have done it much sooner, but why didn't I? So I thought that the piddly ass two items that were in Skull Woods couldn't possibly be something of massive value. Boy oh boy, how wrong I was. Well, how wrong I will be soon. Ow, oh, fuck me. Did drink a potion. Oh well. Well, if I'm gonna die, I'd rather die here. Shit. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, here we go. <laughs> Oh, wow. What a fucking slow burn this has been so far. Oh, well. I guess it was a fool's errand to, to uh, even entertain hope that we would get a third sub two in a row. It'd be ridiculous. Hey, Omega Weapon. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Good to see you. We conquered the Fool's Arena. No, we did not yet. We'll be going back to that this week, though. It has beaten us so far, but we will not. Oops, ouch. We will not let it crush our spirits. Oh, fire bar. Oh my goodness, the fire rod was in fucking Skull Woods. Are you serious? Well, that opens up ice. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I don't know, I don't even magic! Gosh dang it. Ah, f me. I guess I do have a green potion. That'll have to be enough. <laughs> this stupid skull woods. <laughs> Fuck you. This is so dumb. we got here. There's the big ass key. Oh, well, no, don't fall down the... Damn it. <laughs> no, no, use the hookshot, idiot. Come on. Thank you. ba da dum ba da da dum ba da da dum boom I don't know if I'll beat it in one go. That seems a little bit charitable. I'm definitely stronger. Busy bam! Uh, I probably shouldn't use the mirror. All right, go straight for Mothula. Bothers me that I still have Master Sword for this. Uh, spending 500 bucks on it yet. Speaking of people who owe me money, <laughs> you owe me 200 bucks, Sam, <laughs> for betting on Big Key being on Torch, and it wasn't on Torch a couple weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, I think. I don't know. Got it on video. <laughs> oh, Alright, do I have a key? I don't have a key. Fuck. Oh shit, I don't have a key. Oh crap, if this isn't a small key, we are fucksword here. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you don't bet you're a Christian. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, good, that's a key. Oof. I suppose it almost had to be, right? I suppose it could have been the map or the compass. Fucking... Now, would this even be worth just using the green potion, or should I... I just use the blue potion and get it out of the way. Got plenty of money, you could go buy some more. <sighs> I don't have half magic either, that's what really fucking grinds my gears about this. Alright, can you all fuck around over here, please? Thank you. Alright, we're gonna see if we can get away without using our blue potion here. I'll, I'll burn my green potion if I need to. Let's get that ready to go. Oh wait, actually. <laughs> Derp. Yeah. Alright, good, good. Alright. Fucker, come on. Eh. Yeah, nice. Worth it. Alright, bye bye, Mafula. That's crystal number dose, at the very least. That opens us up for Ice Palace. No book, so we can't even check MSP. Which, at this point, probably for the best. I've got Samaria for this, and all of the other accoutrements. Make Ice Palace pretty fucking easy. a better sword. Fucking finally. Alright, you know what, Ice Palace? You're all right. I think we'll still try the bomb jump, though because it does give us a more interesting route, even if we don't absolutely need to do it. Got enough bombs, got enough health, may as well do it. Yeah, nice. Just barely. Just barely in range. Ouch. Ouch. Oops. Thought I had that hook shot. Ouch. Uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, right there, I think. There we go. Should do it. Boom, boom, boom. 
First try. That's that's pretty impressive. A legit first try. Uh, first try. Ice Palace bomb jump. I'll take that shit. bothers me that we have no mail upgrades and no fucking better shield than baby's first. But the fact that we have tempered sword is pretty effing good. Dang it, stop it. I need that magic, you fucko. Ugh. Dang it. Probably should have gotten a potion before. Mushroom. I think I will. It really matters at this point. Yeah, I guess this works. Uh, I could use another small key though, which we'll get up here. I do have a blue potion just in case I need it to get a magic refill, but. Rather not burn it if we don't need to, you know what I'm saying? The burrito! Please be the big key. So we don't have to dick around. Thank you. Vanilla ass big key. Hoping that would be the case so we could get back on through. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's wait for the fire bar on that one. One more item we are searching for here. Dang it, that it was not it, but more than likely than not means that Cold Stairs got the final one. Which is okay, it's alright. Grab us some backup magic. Uh, that's not gonna be enough. Fuck. Alright, we are gonna have to burn that. Blue potion. Oh well. Unless. Unless, unless. You fuckos dropped me some magic. Nope. There's one. Eh? Dang it! Oh, we're just that little tiny bit short. Oh, you fucks. Well, that's kind of shitty. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven. So that gives us some magic for this. Eight. Ow. I got bumped out of the spin. the last item here. Oh, ether. My goodness. <laughs> Gets us into the other... Gets us into the other places and almost puts us in go mode. Don't need the ice rod yet. Well, number three. Okay, well, at least now we can do the double uh, Meyer Desert Dance back to back. Oh, wait. No, we can't. We need the... Um... Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need the, the boots for that. It's taking an awful risk, is what it is. Let me guess, I teleported onto a bush. Of course I did! Fucking square right on it! Good work. Always do that. Alright, well, Meyer Desert, and then I guess up to, uh... Oh, that's right, I still need to do, uh... I need to do Eastern yet. Shit, okay, I need the bow. That's right. That's what I, that's what the, the other thing I'm missing. It's the bow. So let's see, between Mire and Desert, that's four items, although it's unlikely I'll be able to get one of the items in desert. Since there's a small key on the torch. that it doesn't leave us much choice. But at least we can knock Meyer out. And at least get uh, the crystal out of desert right away. Even if we can't get all of its items. Now, fucking bubble, really? Holy shit. early big key. Not exactly what I'm looking for since I need items, but I guess it's fine. Over here, I guess. Another small key, even though we only need one. Two, I suppose, right? One for this door, and then one for some other door on the inside. Which we would have gotten right there. Beedy 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 beedy. How about an item? The compass! Not what I was looking for. Gosh, dang it. Oh, ouch. real quick. Ouch. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Let's make good drinking time here. Let's 
candy. Gosh dang it. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. Give me the bow. The bow would be real nice right now. The bow and or the ice rod. <clears throat> Yeah, that's right. On Twitter, the next Smash game will be a new game and have a proper name. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Um, I'm glad that it's a new game and not just a port. That's that's actually pretty nice. I don't give a shit about the name so much, but it's nice to know that it's actually going to be a new name. Or a new game, rather. And let's hope to whatever deity is listening that they do not put tripping into it like they did for Brawl. That was the most annoying bullshit. I've ever had the displeasure- wow, look at this. Ever had the displeasure of running into in a fucking Smash game. Hey, let's make your character randomly trip. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> God damn it. What a dumb feature. Whoever put that in there should be fired. Actually, no, that's not true. Whoever put that in there should feel really bad about themselves. <laughs> Another small key! Ah, piece of candy. All right, well, two pieces of candy in the mire. Great. So I'm actually kind of curious what they're gonna name it, because they didn't really give a an official title for number four, did they? They just called it Smash Four, right? So we've had just Super Smash Brothers, and then Smash Brothers Melee, and the Smash Brothers Brawl. So they're gonna have to—they're gonna have to dig out the trusty thesaurus and uh, find another synonym for a fight, or they could just go Smash Brothers fight. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Oh shit! I was gonna use a new strat for this room. Oh well. Gonna set the block uh, in that first little section, then detonate it as I was walking up there. Oh well. No new strats tonight. <laughs> Smash Bros. Kerfuffle. <laughs> that would be something. Or they could do like the the really solid reboot thing and just call it Smash or something. Although I suppose technically that's what they did for Smash 4, right? Or Super Smash Brothers or something. Just reuse a name. Because why not? Nobody fucking cares. <laughs> I'm really I'm really pulling for Smash Bros. Uh, Jamboree, to be honest with you. I know it's not technically a fighting name, but it just sounds fun. Uh, do I have a... I do have this. I do have this. Let's do this. I don't know this is really doing a whole lot for me. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh, we actually shouldn't probably risk this. I don't have any other curative items. No more potions, no nothing. I'm gonna have to wait this out. Oh, I get, ow! Oh, this cost three! Oh, fuck me! Oh, gosh dang. Oh, that was dumb. I guess I deserved it, though. I wasn't paying attention. Some dumb cane strats when I shouldn't have been using dumb cane strats. Ah, oh, well. Now I'm out of magic, so I can't even grab some fairies. Oh, well. Let's the devil. And he shall appear. <clears throat> still not on the Switch hype train, still waiting for that one game you'd really want to play anywhere. Yeah, that, that's fair. I was really waiting for just one more good game, period. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, that's right, I'm going this way. I was really waiting for just one more good game, period, and Smash really does it, so... Eh. Uh, wait, I need to go this way. Ow, stop that. Because they got a Mario, they got a Zelda, now they got Smash, there's some really good, like, unique games for it. I don't really care so much that there's a bunch of indie game ports for it, because it's like, well, I already own it on Steam, so... You know. I don't really care so much about that. And Doom I own on Steam already, so I don't really care. I don't really feel like playing Doom on a Switch, to be honest with you. I 
I don't know that it's, ne it's necessarily stripped down, though. I think it's graphically, yeah, stripped down, of course, but gameplay-wise, I think it's, isn't it one and the same? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care, really. I'm always, I think from here on out, I'm going to be real skeptical about Nintendo consoles because the Wii U was a pretty gosh dang big flop. Do I need to hit this switch again? I don't think I do. Plus, I'm not going to buy a bunch of games that are already available on PC on the Switch. I'm sorry. That's just not that's just not what I see Nintendo consoles as being for. I will get the shit that is only on Nintendo consoles on a Nintendo console, and I'll use my PC for the rest. That's how I feel about it. Reasonable people can disagree, and people can have their preferences. That's fine. But, for me, that's just not... This just doesn't do it for me. All right, how, what, what are we doing here? Are we... So we're just doing sword strats, huh? Ouch. Jesus, why does an eyeball cause three damage? Ridiculous. Whoa, probably shouldn't have been standing there for that. <laughs> Ow, what? They caused four? Well, fuck me. Ah, shit. I thought it was just three. Well, good. This has been a real fine mire. A real good mire play has been done. <laughs> Damn it. Jesus Christ. I guess I'm used to not having just green mail when I go into mire. Fuck me. Jesus, shit. Fucking four damage. Ridiculous. This really makes more sense to go probably here. No, here. Then I could just go straight on up. I don't have to dick about. Uh, well, yeah. Just go up and then go north. I don't have to dick about with the maze. Oh shit. Ah! I gotta put that block by blocks. Bastards. It's a fool's trial all over again. Oh no, we haven't even begun to scrape the surface of that fool's trial. No, no, no. We are not even close to that. I have already accepted that this seed is fucking garbage. And no matter what I do, it's not gonna be any good. Symbols of virtue. Big ass sword in the ground. Gonna hurt you. Oh, sorry. Big ass knight. Two, they're gonna cover that bruise. He's stroking my ego, saying, So it's all that we need when we are ego. Alright, third time's a charm, right? We got this. Bump, 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 bump. Oh yeah, I forgot that there's Mario Kart. Although I tech, I guess technically that's a port, right? Although they deluxed it up or whatever. So I'd say there's probably like, uh, for me to buy a console, it's, it's got to have like six or seven really solid games to make it worth it. And I think at this point, Switch meets that. <laughs> meets that for me. Once Smash was released, I think it meets that for me. Plus, it doesn't hurt that the, the Switch as a whole is much cheaper than PS4 and the X-Bone, so that's something, too, that works in its favor. God damn, four and a pop. Fucking eyeballs, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Stop it. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, now for the big eyeball, which I think also does forward and pop, so we gotta be careful. Come on, man, die, you fuck. Thank you. <laughs> All for a small ass key. Gee, thanks, fucko. Well, that's crystal number what? Four? Yikes. Done like six minutes ago with this. <sighs> I don't know. I'm glad that Nintendo has a bunch of indie games again, but it's just not a platform that I really care has indie games. It's not what sells me a Nintendo console, really. Ouch. Uh, what are we doing here, exactly? I guess we're finishing this. But, I mean, that's probably because I'm the dude that buys all the indie games on PC, so when they get released on the Switch, I just don't care. I mean, I'm glad that it's good for that. But... If I've already got it on PC, I ain't gonna buy it on Switch. And I ain't gonna buy an indie game just straight up on Switch, because it's probably on PC. It's just how it goes, sometimes. Plus, I I know the big selling point of the Switch is it's like this mobile console or whatever, but I don't really care about that either. That's not what does it. That's not what does it for me. That's not what does it for me. I'm sure it does it for a lot of people. I ain't gonna, you know, harp on it for that. But that's just not a big selling point for me. Just like the whole big selling point of the Wii U was to be able to uh, play it on their little dumb tablet thing. Like, that's not... <laughs> Again, that doesn't do it for me because I'm not in a situation where playing it on the tablet thing is uh, any easier or better than playing it on my TV. But whatever. Whatever, hey. Doesn't matter. Again, doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I don't have the big key? Fuck me, I don't have the big key. <laughs> Well, that's great. All right, we're not doing desert yet, I guess. What are we doing? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Gosh dang, I guess we turn in the mushroom. And then I guess we go up to T-Rock, because fuck me. Shit, so now we actually really need the boots to go finish desert. <laughs> Sucks. That sucks. Oh, hey, a shield. Trade mushroom for shield. Okay. Well, now our only recourse is to go up to T Rock, which better damn well have the bow, because fuck me. Man, it's gonna be the worst seed that I've ever had. This is a fucking. It's gonna be a two hour bolt. Get out of my way, squirrel. Fucko. Late ass bow. Green mail going into T Rock. Ouch. I should have bought some potions while I was there. Whoopsie. self-driving car you'll get a switch <laughs> I mean I guess that's a uh, that's another opportunity isn't it wouldn't hold your breath on that for a few years though 
At least not one where you can absolutely take your eyes off the road. He's <laughs> his finger both a Zelda on a <laughs> Ew! Ew! Yuck! That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Literally melting when people left them in the dock. Really? I don't think I've ever heard of that. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever heard of something like that happening. Cite your sources, please, because I'd actually be really interested in reading about that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, actually, no, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I accidentally went the right way. Oh, boy. Oh, good, the bug net, the most useful of all items. Actually, that is pretty useful for me right now. Oh, warping instead of melting. Okay. I mean, that's a little bit more reasonable. Stop trying to fucking hype that up. Come on, man. Melting. <clears throat> Oops, I didn't do the, the fun uh, hookshot strats there. Oh, well. Big ass key, small ass key. Something about the word ass that just has the perfect descriptor to it. It's just the best. Find me a more versatile word, I dare you. I mean, besides fuck, I guess. Ass and fuck are the best words. Not necessarily in that order, but when used individually, Jesus, wow, those those links are uh, are something else there. All right, you guys need to stop being stupid chain chops. Thank you. Thank you. Ba -da -da -da. Wow, goodness, they're getting better, aren't they? <laughs> those links, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Come on, man. Oh, nice. Very, very, very well-timed magic refill. Well, we can check Mimic Cave while we're up here. Maybe that's got the bow. Fuck me. I hope at least we get the ice rod in here so we can at least finish off um, <clears throat> finish off T-Rock while we're here. Sometimes it is the size of the key, my friend. Small keys just will not fit. They don't do the business. 
Please die. Please. Mimic. Please die. Let's see. Kill! Crush! Destroy! Thank you. Alright. Park container. That's dang it. Alright, so Mimic Cave sucks ass. Still got four items to go in uh, T Rock, though. Which I'm guessing at least one is the bow, and probably one is the. Um, has to be the boots or something. I'll come down to Laser Bridge here. Oh, Image Shack, holy shit. That takes me back. That is some nostalgia right there. Well, I don't know if nostalgia is quite the right word. That is some old ass shit, there we go. That's the best word right there. Attacked. Yeah, nice. Take a hit right there. How about one more for good measure? Nope, we're gonna get away from that. Bum, 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 bum. Ever play Zelda Minish Cap? Yes, I did. I felt it was a pretty good game. Ouch. Fucking. Ugh. Goddamn Helmosaur. Get out the way, you shit. There we go. Death in the beginning. Yes, I did play Zelda Minish Cap. Well, it was a pretty good game. Pretty good. Not, maybe not great, necessarily? Ah, there's the bow. That's what we're looking for right there. Something. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, these lasers are gonna zap the heck out of me unless I do this, so... Magic Cave! Oh, god damn it. Yeesh, we are almost out of magic here, that's not good. Uh, is that, yeah, one more there. Oh, excuse me. There's a key. Oh, fuck, how am I gonna get rid of this fucker? Shit. You know what, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, that is fine, I guess. Uh, because I don't think we can go anywhere else anyways. I'm out of magic. I have the bow, so we can finish off... Ah, oh, shit. No, this isn't gonna... This isn't gonna work. So I can go finish Eastern, but Eastern isn't gonna give me anything else. Uh, well, no, it'll give us the other 5 6 here, which will get us the double-chested fairy. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Eastern. And did we turn in... did we turn in the green pendant already? Yes, we did. It was a fiver. It's a relaxing version of Song of Storms. I wouldn't necessarily call it relaxing. But hey, props for knowing which one it was in particular. <laughs> Hoping Nintendo would make you care with the Switch, but they didn't. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's on Nintendo. Maybe it's just on you. I'm gonna crotch the old man, just like me, Sam. I don't really care much for the motion controls either, so that's that was never gonna bring me around. But Thank you. 
suppose I should have been a smart boy and grabbed a backup fairy. There's a T Rock there. Oh well. Son of a bitch, hold still. All right, let's give the give the quick how's your business to the Armos here. For the burrito. That's crystal number five. Woo! <laughs> uh, there's still. Oh, now there's two items in the pod we can get again. I don't know if we should go for those. I think now. Oh, we can't do double chest fairy. Son of a bitch! Well, fuck, what do we do? Do we go into pod and do it? Or. God damn it. I probably should have done pod first, to be honest with you, but let's grab some potions. Ah, this is such a bad seed. Why I'm doing this. Alright, I guess we go to pod, because that's the only other place with more items. It's the likelihood that both boots and ice rod are still uh, in T-Rock there is pretty gosh dang slim. the 3DS. The 3DS is a very good, a very good mobile device. Got a nice set of games. It's been around forever, to be honest with you. But I guess they got their whole new 3DS shit going on too, so whatever. But I like my 3DS. Very solidly built. It kind of sucks that my OG DS is kind of busted. The hinge finally gave out on it. I'd really like to find another one of those since it also plays Game Boy Advance games, but whatever. Oh, it's worth replacing. The emulators for DS and GBA are good enough where I don't feel the need to buy another physical form of it. Uh, wait, no, no, let's go to the right. Go to the right. The OG DS was one of the first things I bought after I got my first gainful employment in high school. Wow, that was a long time ago. Holy shit. I remember that the DS was that old. <laughs> that was a very cool thing to pick up. That was, uh, I, can rem I remember when I bought it, too, because it was New Year's Eve some year. Well, that event, New Year's Eve, probably 2002. How old is the OG DS? Is that a that was an item, yeah? What did I just get out of that chest? I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention. What was it? Can somebody tell me, please? <laughs> I feel like it was an item because I've already got everything else. Yeah, it must have been something. <clears throat> is going to have the last item here, isn't he? It better be the boots or something. 
Unless the boot- oh man, if the boots are on MSP, how fucking shitty would that be? And then the book is in T-Rock or something like that? My goodness. My fucking goodness. I certainly bought my fair share of, uh, of games before I had an actual job. I remember Goldeneye was the first game I bought myself. Saving up from mowing the lawn or something. Chores and shit. Allowance or whatever. <clears throat> that was fucking great. And that was followed shortly by Perfect Dark. Man, that's a fucking awesome game. Good times for that shit. how I actually bought Perfect Dark since that was rated M and I definitely was not 17 at the time. Where did I buy that from? I think I bought that on eBay actually. <laughs> Damn. I think I bought that on eBay. I must have bought that on eBay. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, and that was just a big old 20. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, now I can't even... Oh, well, I could do a blind pull of the, of the MSP. You think that's a good idea? Oh, man. This is gonna be one heck of a fucking... Yeah, I remember buying Perfect Dark first, and then I remember saving so much to buy the expansion pack so I could actually play the single-player game on it. My goodness, that takes me back. 40, well, let's see. How much was it? The game, I think, was 35 when I bought it off of eBay, and then the expansion pack was like 40 bucks or something. And back then, that was a fucking lot of money for me. Because, my goodness. That's a lot of money for a kid who doesn't have a job. Or who didn't have a job, rather. Obviously, I have a job now. Holy shit, before I got the expansion pack, I got my got my mileage out of the multiplayer mode. So that was like really good bots and shit for Perfect Dark. They had built in, which is fucking crazy. Alright, let's go do a blind pull of this fucking uh, uh, MSP here and see what we get. If it's the boots, I'm gonna fucking crap my pants. Place your bets. Boots or ice rod, really, at this point. Damn it, are you fucking serious? Ah, oh, that is so annoying. That means that the rest of the items in T-Rock are progression. Fucking hell. I'm serious with this shit? God damn it. <laughs> oh, this is a real bad seed. But not because it's actually a bad seed, but because I didn't fucking finish T-Rock in the first go. Ugh, and yeah, we're looking at a, a real bad time for this. Probably 240, I would say. 240, 245, something like that. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ah, uh, N64 controllers. They were pretty good. They were pretty good. They fucking destroyed your hands if you ever tried to play Mario Party with them, though. That's natural, with all the fucking stick spinning you had to do with it. I learned really quick, really fucking quick after blistering the heck out of the palm of my hand that you use the heel of your hand to do it. This little section right here. Otherwise, you were fucking in a world of pain.
I still have my original N64 controller too. One that I bought specifically for me. It's one of the, the clear plastic uh, teal ones. It's so rad. The best fucking color. I still have it and the stick is loose as hell, but it still fucking works and I love it so much. <clears throat> Game controller, uh, GameCube controllers are fucking solid as hell, too. I love those. Sticks are nice. The Z button placement is a little bit weird, to be honest with you. Because if they were going to put it on one side, why didn't they just put it on the other again, too? But, heck. Really solid. They got the good clicky triggers and shit like that. Mm. They got a lot good going on with that controller. D-pad sucks on it, but nobody used it for the D-pad anyways, so whatever. Wow, nice. Double kill. The C-stick was kind of weird on it, too. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree with that design, necessarily, but eh. With how often the C-stick was actually used... So supposedly there's going to be some items here. Some items that we're missing. Perhaps, uh, oh, just one, I guess. Fuck, are you fucking serious, this book? Ugh. Well, that's going to be fun. Chasing down the tablets for our boots. Oh, wait. I'm out of magic. Great. Awesome. Alright. Out we go! Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is so shitty. This is so shitty! Oh, crap. Is this gonna be the boots or the ice rod on the fucking tablets here? Ugh. God damn the seed. <laughs> So terrible. Oh, get out of my way, squirrel. Fuck you. Oh my goodness. So bad. I don't know if we'll be doing a second one tonight. This is so terrible. No, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna do a second seed tonight just to prove this one's a pile of garbage ass. This better be the ice rod over here. Better be the ice rod. Fuck T-Rock. Butter. Which means Ice Rodder Boots is on um, Bombo's tablet. Oh boy. I'm not really a big fan of the, the Switch Pro Controllers, to be honest with you. It costs way too much for what it is. It's nice and all, but it's just not... There's just something to it that just doesn't feel like it's worth the amount of money you have to pay for it. But hey, that's my opinion. It's just my opinion, man. <laughs> God damn it, this fucking Bombo's tablet is gonna be the boots or some garbage, right? At the very least, then we can finish off Desert. Go right up to T Rock, finish that off, and hit G Tower right away. Uh, oh, wait, well, if it's the boots, we're gonna have to go some other places. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. There's the boots. Maybe you can use the Xbox controllers on a dock switch. Really? Damn, that would be fucking awesome. That would be great. Huh. That would be very interesting, actually. <laughs> Alright, okay. Play... <laughs> playing Smash Bros. on a Nintendo console with a Microsoft controller. Oops, what am I doing? I need to go in the back door. That's kind of crazy. But hey, that'd be really fucking awesome, to be honest with you. That would probably actually work out the best for me, to be honest with you. Because I do, I do like the Xbox controllers. I do like them. They're very well designed. They're quite hardy. Quite resistant to being chucked at a floor or a wall, which is good in my case. Plus, they got the they got the good like offset stick alignment or offset stick layout. Pretty well built. You know, all that shit. Visity bam. Big ass key. Oops, that's the last. That the last item. It is the last item. Huh. All right. Well, <laughs> out we go. I mean, I, I doubt it's necessarily that they directly support a competitor's controller, but probably more like su supporting generic USB devices would probably be closer to the truth. Although I'd be pretty surprised if it worked as well. We're in the same boat there. boss door without the fucking big key before. It's really dumb with me. Well, yeah, totally whiffed it too. Nice. <laughs> if I hadn't whiffed that, that would have been a nice clean one cycle. Oh ah, well. Alright, well there's Crystal Six! <laughs> We're off to get the uh, last few overworld items to see which one is the ice rod. Ugh. Such a dumb seed. The dumbest of seeds. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? Just SMQ out to the sanctuary. Big 20! Damn it. <laughs> so dumb. This is such a dumb seed. Why did I roll such a shitty seed tonight? Gosh dang it. Alright, let's check Bonk Rocks. And then we're down to Double Chested Fairy. And if it's Double Chested Fairy, congrats! This is pretty much a 100% seed. Checking every gosh dang item known to man. Eh? Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the bust. That's the bust. We've checked every fucking place in the overworld. 
Ice Rod is nowhere to be found. Ugh. I knew I should have been suspicious when the silver arrows were the first fucking thing. Should have been on my toes for a garbage seed. A Brooks Converter? What the hell is a book Brooks Converter? I mean, it's awesome that it exists. Probably fucking pick one of those up. I don't think I've ever heard of it, though. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't take... Oh, shit! Well, there's 100 roops down the drain right there, unless we can get to it real quick. Eh, nope. <laughs> That's right, you can't drop down uh, platforms. Very popular in the fighting game community. Okay. Well, that explains why I haven't heard of it. Very <laughs> managed to be understood by other consoles. All right, I get you. Adapter of sorts. That's nice. That's good. Are they expensive? <laughs> I've definitely seen one for previous gens of consoles. I didn't know they had the specific name of Brooks Converter, but... Definitely seen them before. All right, well, the ice rod's got to be in here, right? It's the only other place. Hey, look at that! The last fucking item. <laughs> We're finally in Gomo. Oh my goodness. It's such the dumbest bullshit seed I've ever seen. Ugh. Ug, ug, ug. Well, we're looking at a 245 seed now. Easily. Depending on how bullshit G Tower is. Fucking really? Ah, squirrels! The good news is we can just blaze a trail through the rest of T-Rock. The bad news is this will be a triple fucking dip. I mean, I guess while we're talking about the fighting game community... Uh, Smash Bros. is really the only fighting-ish game I've ever been slightly, even partially good at. Because I just cannot... I could not for the life of me in... Like, you know, Super Nintendo era, N64 era, whatever. Street Fighter era, I guess. Remember any of the combos or have any of the fucking dexterity to pull them off. Like the quarter circle, half moon, whatever infinity light punch. <laughs> could never do that. I could never, ever, ever pull any of that shit off. So for a game like Smash where it's literally just direction plus other button. That shit works for me. <laughs> that works. That works for my little puny hands and my dumbass bullshit memory. And the fact that it's not different button combos for different characters is so nice. My goodness, it's so nice. It's just like, hey, you know how to press a direction and a button? Good. You know how to play every fucking character. Congrats. It's the best. It's the best, man. I hope more fighting games take up that approach. I really do. That would make me actually more interested in playing them. But hey, whatever. I guess I'm just a noob scrub lord in that regard. <laughs>
Oopsie. Rivals of Ether. Yeah, I've heard that name a lot. That's been in a couple bundles, hasn't it? Like recently, even. Isn't it a recent Humble Bundle thing? I don't know. I remember. There's one other I'm thinking of that I can't quite recall. Rivals of Ether. It's, um, Brawlhalla, I think, is the one I'm thinking of. I don't know if that's necessarily the same style, but I know it's a Smash like in terms of being like this huge, massive fighting game. There, we did it. Fuck you, Trinex. There we go. Easiest fight. <laughs> Easiest fight since we're all fucking kitted out with butter sword and shit. Oh, all for the quake. Gee, thanks. Thanks, Trinex. You're a real pal with that shit. Alright, there's Crystal 7 at 231. <laughs> Fuck me. Woo! Okay. Well. Well, place your bets. 1 through 22. Big tower. Or big tower. Nice. Big tower in Ganon's key. Uh, big key in Ganon's tower. Where do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be super trolly because the seed has been super trolly? Or is it going to actually be like item number one? Which I would be so cool. One through 22. I'm going to say it's number six. I'm going to hope it's going to be nice to us today. Me on the third chest, huh? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna swap up my route a bit. I'm not gonna go right side first, which drops two from my normal rotation. So we're gonna go left side first and see what we can dig up. So if that changes your bets, you better you better change your bets quick. Since torch will be number one here. Oh, blue mail on the torch. We're fucking grabbing that shit. 100%. <clears throat> so there's number one. Blue male. This is our fancy ass gravity suit. Here's two through five. Small ass key. 300 groups that we have no use for. Here's number four. Four is number busy bambos. Alright. And number five. Big old 20. Alright, well, what Epsies? It's fine, it's fine, we still get oopsie. Well, I guess I wanted to do that anyway. Here's number six. Dang it. Alright, so my guess is defunct, everybody else's guess is defunct, I guess. <laughs> oh well. We all had a good run. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. It can still be the front half and still be cool, right? I'll be really effing pissed if it's on, like, the first chest on the right side, and I skipped it. Here's number seven. Piece of candy. We're out of small keys now. Forgot to mark Bombos magic key. Got a full set of items now. So here's 8 through 11. 8, 9, 10. There's red mail. 11. Dang it. Oh no. It's so bad. <laughs> Fuck. 
All right, we got one more before we gotta fall down and fight armies. I guess red mail is okay. Oh, dang it. Well, oh, oh, oh. could have deboosted through there, but I was a big dumb idiot and didn't do it. Alright, here's number 12. What can, what can we do? Excuse me, Bob. Bob, please. Burrito, damn it. <laughs> oh no. Well, at least we've got silvers. Silvers for 13 through 16 here. Nope, missed that one. Missed that one. Uh, 13 through 16. Eh? Half magic? Okay, that's cool. There we go. Fuck it. Oh, do we have a small key? We don't. Oh, shit. We need a small key now, actually. Need at least one small key. What was that? What was that? Uh, 15? 16? Something like that? Small key, please. Thank you. Goddamn thing. I don't know why this room is always such a pain in the ass. Upgrades in Ganon's tower, that's so stupid. Gonna use that a couple times during the fucking Vitreous fight, tell you what. Fucko. Oh, bullseye. There we go. That's what I like to see. Two for two. Okay, my big ass shield doesn't block that. Come on, man. since I've fallen in this room. Goodness me. Well, par for the course on this run, I guess. Excuse me. Nice. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> oh, dang it. No! Oh, fuck. That would have been real embarrassing if I fell there. Alright, thank you. 
grab this other key though. Fuck out in the way, Helmosaurs. on the second coming up here right. eat shit and eat shit please <laughs> oh gosh dang it i should have not been quite so aggressive oh. yeah. there we go time. Alright, should we validate this run or should we leave it unvalid? Invalid. Whatever. What do we got? Let's see. <laughs> oh, the other single rupee in the validation chest. That's so dumb. <laughs> That's honestly the dumbest thing I've seen in a while. Oh, goodness. Oh, at least we can have fun. At least we can have fun with this. All right, Drick Wizard number dose. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a good place to put it. There's one. Whoopty fucking do. Two. Three. Ah, with the blue balls. <laughs> damn it. Four. Damn. Shit. Damn. Some good. Oh yeah, good. That's a great pattern. Thank you. Five, six, I guess. Nice. All right, that'll do it. Eat shit, Dark Wizard. Dark Wizard, second, whatever. Pokey in the face. Okay. Well, assuming I don't totally eat it. On the Ganon fight, we're looking at a 246. Which is not great by any stretch, but it's sub three, which is fine and dandy. I'm just gonna eat a couple shots here. That should be phase three, I hope. <laughs> yes, it is. Good. Ah, nice. Very, a very quick phase three. I did find the light, the arrows, thank you. Oh, can we still get the torch glitch? Oh, dang it. Nope, not quite. That's all right. Oh, a nice double, though. Woo, that was a great Ganon fight. Shit. Shit, son. Oh, man, we're looking at a 245, 244. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh. Two forty four oh nine. That is over an hour worse than PB. That sucks so much. <laughs> oh dear, that was terrible. Well, whatever. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. Well, let the credits play out. I'm gonna go grab another drinky drink. We'll come back for seed number dose.
<clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Prepare to fast forward. Whoop. <sighs> Stupid. I don't even know why I checked MSP. That was such a dumb idea. But hey, looking for ice rod or boots, both of which could have been there. What else was I supposed to do? Uh, so that was the probably the worst possible things that could have happened there. Plus my execution was shit, so, you know. <clears throat> when bad things collide, a 244.09 happens. But we managed a gold Ganon fight, which is kind of silly. Although not that silly if you think about it. It was a really quick, really quick third phase plus a, a, a double hit on phase four. Worked out pretty well. <clears throat> but let's see what the stats say and then we'll clear it up. Start seed two. I was really happy with the early silvers. It just sucks that we didn't get the bow until more than two hours in. And the boots 218 in. <laughs> Jeez. This is so dumb. The dumbest shit. Well, at least we we're pretty evenly split on all the sword kills. Well, bonks, four deaths, three of which were to Vitreous. Well, two of which were to Vitreous, right? Yikes, that is a shitty collection rate. That is way too many things to have gotten. 